What's up, everybody? It's Justin Brown here for The Weekender, and I'm hanging out with a very familiar face here, the one, the only, Mr. Kel Mitchell. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. All right, I just saw your sound check. I'm so excited. Thank now, you. we are hanging out here at the Cove Haven Resorts yes. in the Poconos, the land of love. And speaking of love, I have to congratulate you, sir, Thank because you. you just got married earlier this I year. I did. I just got married. My beautiful wife, Asia. Love you, baby. We had a fun uh, so wedding. Just in January, life. right? Yeah, January still, 8th. January 8th, so you're um, still in the honeymoon stage. Oh, yeah, it never yeah. stops. Now, there's going to be a lot of... <laughs> I love it, an honest guy right here. Now there's going to be a lot of couples here who yeah. are trying to get in that honeymoon stage as well, and probably a lot of people who are going to be watching this interview. So for people who want to keep that spark alive in their marriage and want to, yeah, and want to, you know, be in that honeymoon stage, what's um, what's some advice you can give them to keep um, that spark up? That advice, um, communication. That's key. Always talk about everything. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a misunderstanding, get it out of the way right then and there. Because um, there's better stuff we can be doing. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta have a communication because that's key. Talk about everything. Know everything about your wife or your husband. So if somebody comes up and says your husband, your wife said this and did that, you gotta know about your husband and your wife so strongly that you know like, nah, they didn't say that. You're not gonna break yourself. Don't let too many people get in between your relationship. Keep it real sacred between the two of you guys. And always go to church, you know, I'm a Christian man, so Definitely. go to church, pray, do all of that, keep that relationship strong. I mean, that's what I'm all about. And have dance battles, just random dance battles. Random dance battles? Random you guys dance have dance battles? battles? We have random dance battles. <laughs> yeah, like three Who wins? Days. Do you let her win? Um, she wins sometimes, and then, you Who know. Who judges? Uh, the love. It's the love. <laughs> Usually ends with a hug or something like that. So. With a hug, sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of the spark I, um, mm -hmm. in your marriage with your uh, beautiful new wife, mm -hmm. now I've been reading on Twitter that uh, since you spend so much time away from her, touring and everything, that you guys send each other some uh, romantic text messages. <laughs> some that even make you blush. Yeah, man. Well, I, that, Black I mean, man can blush. It's a, it's a little well, purple. But well, what happens. kind of romantic text messages can make you blush, man? <laughs> yeah, we have to uh, set the record straight now. Are we talking, when we're saying romantic, okay. are we talking Nicholas Sparks romantic or Anthony Weiner romantic? Oh, wow. Um, let me, being it, I don't know either one of them. Uh, R. Kelly. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay. No, but um, I feel I'm a very uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, Nicholas Sparks is <laughs> he's the guy that wrote the Notebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and told Anthony Weiner, he's the senator that sent. Oh, that guy. that guy. That guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, um, no. So which one? Definitely not the Weiner. Okay. It's not, not that one. <laughs> R. Kelly. It's R. Kelly. No, no, no. no not, it's not R. Kelly. Okay. That was a joke. It's, it's not R. Like Kelly. The more like the Notebook. I mean, uh, we're definitely lovey, lovey yeah. dovey. We hold hands in public. Kiss and people are always like, get a room! Like, that's, <laughs> we're that couple. Now, Keenan and Cal, all that, we all love you from shows like that. Sure. Now, what's some things that you have coming up that uh, people should be looking out for? Uh, definitely look out for Motor City. Uh, it's on Disney XD. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a new show that I have. It's off the chain. It's like, literally like Terminator wow. mixed with Fast and Furious. Crazy really? cars, you know. It's Where can bananas. people check that out? Disney, Disney XD. XD. Disney okay. XD every Thursday. Make sure you check it out at 7 p.m. Also, I have a show with Rob Dyrdek, uh called Wild Grinders. Oh, yeah, I heard of that you one. Know, uh, yeah, so it's a really, really fun show. I play have you been to the Fantasy Factory? Yes. You've been to the Fantasy Factory? I've been Factory? to the Fantasy Factory. I'm, uh, so, I'm straight up jealous right now. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, the, the <laughs> Fantasy Factory. You just not want to hang out there. Rob's an amazing guy, man. Um, he's a great entrepreneur, and uh, we have fun at the Fantasy Factory yeah. all the time. I'm skating. Nice to skate back in the day, too. So Really? I love Skateboard, yeah, Christian Asoy, Tony Hawk, shout out to all those guys. Cause wow, so you're a skater. Skate. Yeah, so. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, now, um, mm -hmm. social media, you're following me on Twitter, which I am. definitely uh, made my day. Now, <laughs> I want everybody out there to be following you on Twitter, so why don't you tell everybody? Yeah, make sure to check me out at, at I am Kel Mitchell. Also, uh, you can, that's my Twitter. And then also, you can check me out at KelMitchell.net. Oh, and you also hear about my new film that I directed called oh, yeah, She Is movie. Not My Sister. She Is Not My Sister. What's that about? Great movie. Oh, it's about, it's about a girl, right? Uh, she has a bully in school. And her dad comes back married to that bully's mother. And so now they become sisters. Oh, no. Yeah, so imagine the bully in school that you hate, now that becomes your sister. And it's bananas. So it's literally like, uh, it's a faith-based film. Uh, it deals with forgiveness, you know, her learning to forgive this person that, you know, that hates her. Where can so, we check that out? You can definitely check it out. It'll be out in the fall. So make sure you check All it right, out. Yeah, definitely check out that. Now, um, I interviewed you for my column uh, last week. It's called Sorry Mom and Dad, where I share some of my wildest adventures and life lessons while saying sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> What's something that you could go on the record and apologize to your parents for? Hoping that they won't be seeing this. Wow. <laughs> um, 
My parents are really cool. They're pretty open. Um, I'm trying to remember one that. Oh wow. Well, we had trains like where I grew up in Chicago. Like we grew up back there. We had trains and stuff like that. We used to hop trains <laughs> and like ride to the other city. Yeah. Like just hop them. I don't do that, kids. Uh, but basically, <laughs> we we used to do that. And uh, one time, my uh, little cousin who used to hang out with us all the time, we were going over a bridge right over one of the lakes in Chicago, mm -hmm. and he actually slipped. And we caught him though. But it was one of those like really like. So you almost killed somebody on a train. <laughs> We didn't know. He slipped. We said, hold on, and he slipped, okay. and we held him, and he was screaming, and it was like a big action flick, but he's okay, and life's good. Okay, so <laughs> don't play it. Sorry, Mom and Dad, that I played on a train, yeah. and somebody almost died from it. Yeah, okay. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. Right. That, well, that, that's a good one. Now, sorry, Mom and Dad. I have, <laughs> now, I have one last thing for you. Okay. I know tonight you're going to be challenging couples to chug some orange soda, because yeah. the character on Keenan and Kel loved orange soda, <laughs> and I didn't think that it was fair that you're making couples chug Two wow. liters of orange soda, well, and it's not even spiked with anything. Well, we're splitting so, the liters. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, well, enough excuses. I'm going to challenge oh. you okay. right now okay. to chug this cup of orange soda. All right. Right. Oh, goodness. No. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to say, and when you're finished, you have to dump it upside down. I'm putting my hat down, that says. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Swag. All right. <laughs> One, two, three, let's chug. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, I'm good. I, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I think I'm I think good. that's a, I I think that's a tie. Okay, it's a we'll, tie. We'll we'll chuck it's it a tie. tie. It's a tie. Even though some of my shirts orange. All right, Cal, thanks oh, so much yeah, that's for hanging a cool out. Shirt, man. That's a what is that? That's that's oh, um, the stone lips. What is what? Uh, no, it's um, it's licking a tooth. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> He's went to the store and said, give me that one. That, yeah, that's just what I said. I can't, I can't read it. All right. No problem, All right. Uh, Justin Brown here from The Weeknder hanging out with Cal Mitchell. Thanks so much, man. Thank you, man. Thanks. It was a lot of fun. Boom. We have a little bit of an orange soda chuck. Who's down? Who's down? You gotta bring your husband in your life. Okay, all right. Okay, come on, get on up. I'm gonna get on up in the back. For the couples. Hello, oh, look at you. What's up, player? How you doing, man? You doing good? It's your wife right here. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Okay, come on over. All right. What's your name? Give it up for Isaiah. That name is in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Over here, what's the name? Shatia. Give it up for Shatia. Robert. Give it up for Robert. Daisy. Give it up for Daisy. Drop the beat.